Hi everybody. <clears throat> I had this flashlight. Bought it. It was I think it was um, on sale for five ninety nine. And then the battery went dead. It's an LED flashlight. Battery went dead. So well. Pretty long lasting flashlight battery. All right. Long lasting flashlight. I had two of them. Okay. And what I did is I cut the top off the battery. And there's these three long cylinder type batteries. So I pulled those out and I threw them away. They were all corroded and whatnot. So I wore gloves to dispose of them, of course. And um, inside that, there was four chambers. So what I did is I busted apart those chambers. I removed those chambers. And what I'm gonna use is I had a laptop that went bad. So it had a battery and the batteries were still okay in it. So these are the laptop batteries. They're uh, the Lithium Ions 18650, I believe they are. I'm trying to read them. Um, I believe that's what they are. 18650 Lithium Ion batteries. Don't have a memory in them, so you can pretty much charge them up at any point. And then I had these little connectors. Actually, you can buy these online or buy them at. Uh, any electronics place pretty much that sell electronic gadgets and stuff like that they were very very cheap I think I paid 99 cents a piece for them and then I had them so what I'm going to do this battery is 6 volts and these are basically 3.2 volts a piece so I'm just going to basically join them together I'm going to series them up and then I'm going to parallel two of them and uh, I remove those separators inside this case and here's the lid so what I'm going to do is simply insert these laptop batteries in here. Now these have some kind of like they're not really sliding in there very freely. So just to make sure they're getting good contact at the one end, I got some tin foil. So I'm just going to fold it to a tiny little piece here. And I'm going to stick it in the end of this just to make sure I have good contact. There. And I'm going to give it a test trial here just to see if we're making contact. You want to make sure you have your positive and your negative right. Oh, there we go. We have light. See that? So now I'm going to take another set. But just for giggle sake, I'm going to put another little spacer. to fill the gap in the other end of this other battery just to make sure as I'm carrying it you know it doesn't lose its contact so I'll just put that down in there there we go and I'll do the same to this other one Pull up a couple more pieces of tin foil and do the same thing to this little pack. Now those little packs I already bring them in series, so I'm going to parallel the two packs together basically. <laughs> so what that's going to do is give me my reserve. It's going to be a pretty good reserve. There's another spacer in there. I'll fold up another little piece. Don't have to be very neat with the folding. This is just a spacer basically to make sure it's going to have contact and doesn't lose its contact. There's stuff on the sides there would make it kind of not slide like they should slide in these little containers. So this is just an assister. There. I'm going to give this one a trial run. Make sure it's going to work. Sure it does. Works good. <laughs> so then I'll parallel these two up. Positive to positive. Just gives me a larger capacity. And I will go negative to negative. This wire is extremely tiny, but uh, this particular does not require much draw of power. That's not much there at all. So this little wire here 
will support it without any troubles. And then I will take here, and we'll make sure I look on top where the negative is and the positive is, and I will join these ones went to the other cells. So I will, positive is the outside. So I will take positive and bring it to the outside. And I will do negative to negative. And I will put a little piece of tape on each one of these little connectors. Don't have to get too fancy here. All this stuff is going to be inside that little black case here in a minute. You're going to see it. One more to do up here. Kind of overkill on the tape, but well, at least I know they won't short out. So that's a good thing. Don't need no little shorts taking place. Just going to bring down the batteries before their point. You don't need that. Make the batteries probably get a little bit warm too. I'll take another little piece of tape. And I'll kind of tape these back to back. And I'm going to actually go on the sides so when I do need to charge these batteries up there will be no difficulties getting the batteries out. Another piece of tape for this side. There, those two little packs are joined together. Now to charge these up, when they do go dead, I just have to take them out. Now let's just bend this over here and make sure it's going to work. No, it's not. So we have an issue here. <laughs> With one of the wires, I suppose. Hope the camera's still filming. Okay, so I'll just pull these pieces of tape. I could solder these joints, have to become. Oh, look at that. See that wire was broke off. Okay, so we gotta make this wire here a little bit better. That's what the problem was. So we'll just strip this piece of wire. Oops. There we go. Actually, this wire is so short now, I won't even bother taping it up. I will tape up the one though because well I may as well just tape up the other one to give it a little coating I'll be careful a little bit gentle on this, on this because it's, it's going to break and then I'm going to have to actually put a piece of wire on that contact completely I'm trying to avoid that I just think I can Hopefully by handling these, it's stayed intact. There's not a there's not a whole lot of complexity here. Here, it's pretty, very simple, very simple process here to have a working flashlight with rechargeable batteries. Okay, so let's give it a little trial, see if it's going to work. Oh, it sure does work. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to put this in the case. 
back in the case, just drop it inside. And I'm going to shove a plastic bag in here to keep it tight. So when I'm carrying it around, it doesn't flip flop and that type of thing. Keep everything tight. Got lots of bags around. And then we're going to put this on top. Okay. And then we're going to tape this lid back on top. When the batteries go dead, just lift up the tape, pull the insert out, pull the batteries out, place them in the charger, charge them back up, reassemble, and there's an LED flashlight. So we'll give it a try here. We'll drop this inside the flashlight, put this together the correct way. Well, let's see if it works. Oh boy, does it ever work. And I'll tell you, those laptop batteries, I'm gonna carry this light. There's some serious hours involved with this uh, being lit up. They're not super bright LEDs, so the draw of power and the power they need is very, very, very low. So I'm expecting probably a couple of months that this is gonna hold up, maybe six months. So, you know, have a flashlight for six months and the batteries came from a laptop and no longer worked. So, there we go. Thank you for watching.